Hey, hello and welcome in a new video. And today, uh, I'd like to show you how to use Docker Networks and Docker Volumes uh, modules uh, with Ansible. If you want, you can subscribe to my channel to not miss the next video. In the previous video, we saw how to use Docker Image and Docker Container uh, modules with Ansible. We we created uh, an image and we use it uh, with a Docker container module to create a new container named uh, C1. Uh, and uh, Ansible allows you to use many modules uh, with Docker. Uh, for example, Docker Compose, Docker Config, Docker Container, Docker Image, of course, and Docker Network. And uh, Docker Swarm, we see it in uh, in previous in next uh, videos. Docker Volume, and uh, today uh, we we need uh, to to start. Of course, we we need to have uh, Docker on our target server, and we need uh, to have Python three dash Docker library. Or if you want, you can install it with apt. Uh, for example, on Debian or Ubuntu uh, distribution, or if you want, you can use Pipe 3 uh, to install it on your target server. We we have uh, we did it in the previous video uh, with apt uh, to manage our uh, Python 3 uh, Docker library. And uh, now what we want to see, we want to see a uh, Docker Networks module. Some parameters about it, we can uh, use Append parameter to add a network to other uh, networks uh, of uh, a single container. We can use Connected, Connected parameter allows you to connect a uh, container uh, that already exists to a new uh, to a new network. Docker host, uh, this is where you can define the socket uh, that uh, you want to use. <coughs> For example, local socket or SSH or TCP socket. Uh, APAM uh, config to define your network. For example, you can define the subnet, uh, the gateway. And the name of uh, our uh, network, of course. And the state, of course, uh, if you want to, you, you can create a network, but you, you can uh, remove it uh, with absent uh, a state uh, set to absent. Uh, to begin, uh, we can uh, we can use uh, use it. Uh, with just uh, we want to create a, a simple network named Xavki. Uh, I just uh, remove all the line here. And uh, what we have on our target server, uh, if we run a docker ps command, we can see we have uh, uh, a container named c1. And I, if I run docker network ls, I just have uh, three network, uh, default networks. Um, the bridge, the host, and the non-networks. Uh, so now we want to create a new network named Xavki. We to do it, we just add uh, three lines as the name of our task, of course, and the Docker network module. And we want uh, a new network named Xavki. So I save it. I run an Ansible playbook command with our inventory, our user, and we want to set the SSH uh, password, and we want uh, to run our playbook.yml file. I run it, and I just add uh, the SSH password, and we see uh, we have a changed on our uh, new task. And to check it, I just run Docker PS, uh, Docker, sorry, Docker Network LS, and we see a new network named Xavki. 
Okay, this is very, very simple to use it. Uh, a new example, uh, what we want to do, uh, our, uh, our container named uh, C1 is just uh, on uh, the default uh, network. Uh, to see it, we can run a docker inspect command on our C1 container. We can see we are on the default uh, the default network uh, with this uh, IP. Okay, um, and this is the name of our network, uh, the bridge. This is the default uh, bridge uh, about Docker. And to change our container, to change the network of our container, we just need to do it. We need. Uh, to run this task, uh, Docker network uh, module, of course, and we want to create uh, this network if uh, this, this network uh, does, does, uh, does not exist. And uh, we want to connect a container named C1 uh, to it. Okay, so we can, uh, I think we can remove it and we can re run again our uh, command line. And we run it again. And of course, if I check what we have, we have our container. And if I run docker inspect command, we can uh, we can see we have two networks uh, for our uh, container for C1 container, uh, the default networks with the bridge and the new networks named Xavki. Uh, with a new IP, okay? And uh, a new example. If you want, you can uh, add, uh, this is this is uh, the, the default, uh, uh, this is the default uh, uh, parameters uh, appends uh, set to yes. And uh, we see it uh, by default when we run this, uh, this command. And uh, if you want, you can set a new network with a specific uh, range for the for this uh, IP, and to do it, what we want to do, we want to add our uh, container C1 on the on a network named uh, Xavki, and we want to connect to it, but we want to use HyPAM uh, config parameter with a specific subnet. Here we define the subnet uh, 172.13.12.0 and we define the gateway and we define the IP range. So, uh, sorry, so I save it and I run it. And of course, we have a change on our target server. We have two targets uh, in this case. If I run again Docker inspect uh, on our C1 container, what we have, we have the Xavki network, of course, but we add an, a specific uh, range and we see it uh, with 172.13.12.2. Do uh, the two uh, IP, okay? And uh, now we can see the Docker volume, uh, the Docker volume uh, uh, module. We use some parameters. We can use driver. If you if you want, you can use uh, by default the local uh, local driver uh, to to define a specific directory uh, where you want to store uh, your data about your container. Or if you want, you can use NFS. But to we will see it in uh, in next video with a practical exercise. Uh, we can define the driver options.
uh, to set the driver, the name of our volume, of course. Uh, if you want, you can recreate or uh, never recreate uh, your volume. And of course, we have a state and we can uh, just set uh, present to create uh, this volume, but you can use absent to remove a specific volume. So to create a volume, this is very easy. We uh, we can remove all these lines and we add uh, uh, four lines. Uh, Docker volume, the name of our volume, exactly underscore uh, data and uh, the state. We define a state to present. So we can uh, check with Docker volume ls. We we have uh, we haven't uh, any volume, and to create it, we run our CLI. I define the password, and we see uh, we create volume, and we have two tasks uh, to to task yes uh, to to change on our target servers. So if I run again Docker uh, volume ls, we have now we have uh, our new volume and uh, if you want you can define a specific a specific path uh, to your volume to do it we can remove all lines and we set some parameters for our docker volume we define the driver uh, we set it to local and some options for our uh, driver we want to bind uh, a specific device on uh, uh, the target directory uh, slash tmp slash uh, data. I save it and I run it again. And now uh, we have, uh, oh, I'm not sure if I run a Docker inspect, inspect, uh, on uh, uh, Docker, sorry, Docker volume aspect on our uh, volume, what we have, uh, we need to recreate our volume because we we haven't any options, of course, but we want to recreate it. So to do it, we just uh, need to uh, add. Uh, recreate option always so recreate always so I save it and uh, I run it again okay and now we have uh, uh, our task and uh, we see we have a changed and if I run again a uh, docker volume uh, inspect on our uh, volume what we have we have uh, our new volume with a specific path uh, with a device on slash tmp uh, data great and uh, what we want to do we can uh, we can remove our uh, our volume. To do it, we just need to uh, set the state uh, to absent. So state equal to uh, absent, and we run it again. I define the password. I set it, and we remove uh, the volume. If I run uh, Docker volume ls, we haven't uh, any volume. Thank you. That's all for today. Thank you for following this video. And I see you in the next one. Bye.